question is, uh, like, what is the demand right now? Uh, obviously, before the pandemic, uh, it was pretty high. And yeah. um, just anybody could find a job there. But yeah. what about now? The demand has been high for years, right? It's high, like it's still there. Demand is still there. But as I said, like, I mean, China still need all these establishments, like the training centers, schools, high schools, kindergartens, they, they're crying for teachers. They desperately need teachers. But the problem is the educational sector and the government and the immigration, they're not necessarily on the same page in terms of, you know, how many, how many people we want to let in. What are the regulations for letting people in in times of pandemic, right? So that makes it a little bit challenging because right now, um, I just read it like last week, the government issued the document saying that if you want to reapply, if you want to get a work visa, the first thing you need to do, get a vaccine, Chinese vaccine only. So if you decide to go to China, if you want to apply for Chinese documents only with Chinese vaccine. All right. That, so it's, it's, I'm in China. If I want to go see my parents in, in Russia, if I want to go see my friends in Canada, um, if I want to fly back, having the residence permit, having the work visa, and let's say I forgot to uh, get myself vaccinated with Chinese vaccine, say, hey, sorry, Eugene, bye. That's it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. That's yeah, just... yeah. And there is no way around it, right? When it comes to China, like if there is a law, the law enforcement, they will take care. Uh, we, you know, we abide by that law. Yeah. Yeah. You should follow it. Yeah, please. But yeah. yeah. The, this That's is the way they regulate yeah. everything. And China actually functions this effectively. Yeah. So not, yeah. Like, um, you know what? I have friends all over the world and, you know, since last February, um, you know, we're catching up constantly. Hey, what's happening? So I have friends like in U.S., in Russia, Ukraine, Canada, Europe. And um, so I'm, I'm just following like, how, how the countries deal with pandemic and w what are the rules and in terms of like, quarantining themselves and stuff like that. Uh, China has impressed me a lot, like, like real advanced strategies in order to fight that. And again, so a lot of people will argue, well, there is no privacy because of your WeChat and you whatever know, all these like thousands of cameras. Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. Like I'm not breaking laws. I don't mind if my face is on like thousand cameras at the same time. It's pretty safe. Pretty safe in here, yeah. All right. So thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.